Hello everyone, Secret Lair here. It's been a while, my real life got a little busy and hectic, so I couldn't make videos. I'm going to try and change that and make videos and post regularly from now on. We'll, we'll see if I can hold to that. So today we have a new banner. The banner is Breaker of the Sky. The new hero for this banner is Ho Yi. His class is Ranger. His role is he's a DPS AOE Ranger. Uh, I think he's one of the first AOE Rangers we have gotten. And his possible uses are possibly Arena, Raids, maybe Conquest, big maybe on Raids. He might not be great for Raids. And then he may be good for certain boss fights. Specifically, he might be, I theorize, he might be really good for Slimed Claws. We'll have to see when Slimed Claws comes around and see how we experiment with him. Uh, he may be really good for Slimed Claws. We're not sure yet, though. So his first active skill is Sunbreaker. Now he shoots, Ho Yi shoots into the air, causing two meteors per second over three seconds to descend onto the enemy. Each meteor deals 150% 100, damage in an area, and it takes up nine charges before it use, goes off. So the nine charges is quite a long time. I think 11 is the max, and, it, and 6 is the minimum you can get. So it's a little on the long end. But the big thing is his ability. We're going to show you how his ability works. So we're going to go into Conquest. I think this might be the best place to show it. And to kind of demonstrate how he works. So we're going to go to a new tile. So his ability goes off around the, I want to say, 6 to 7 second mark. And I'll try to show you it now. So I have a Ho Yi on this team. He's at 561 right there. And his ability's going off. And you can see it's a pretty slow moving ability and the fight's already done by the time it finishes going off. So that's not really desirable for a unit we want to use for raids. Could you leave it on? Sure. As I said, it goes off in the 6 second mark and the first meteor will land around the 8 second mark. If Ho Yi gets hit at all, it might go off a little sooner, but he's not designed to get hit. So it, this, it takes a little too long and the skill's a little too slow. It would be nice if the animation was a little faster so the damage happens a little faster. Um, otherwise, I only see this skill being useful for Slime to Claws and maybe Arena, but for raids, your raid fight should be over by the time this skill goes off. Um, so that's not, this, his active ability is not the most exciting thing. What's exciting is his passive skills. His first passive skill is Godly Draw. Increases attack speed at, by 15% per auto attack up to 200% for the duration of the match. Now, you may see 200% and think just it doubles, but it's it increases the attack speed by 200%. So it's tripling the unit's attack speed, or it should be, because it you know, increases by 15%, and then 30%. 40% then 100% increasing by 100% is doubling the attack speed so 200% should be tripling it I believe I may be wrong maybe I'm not trying to do the math right now so this is really good for boss fights prolonged fights this is excellent for because you're going to do that damage and fights have gotten longer because of the heroes that came out so this godly draw will be good against the heroes like lucky that make fights last longer um, but I think the best ability, so this is really good for boss fights, but I think his best ability that might make him good for, uh, boss fights 
not boss fights, for arena, is the puncturing strike. So auto attacks deal 150% more damage. So already he's doing more damage. And they travel at 60% speed and pierce enemies with a damage multiplier of 60% per target pierced to a minimum of 15% damage. So for each enemy it pierces through, he does a little less damage. It's not, he's not going to pierce through too many enemies, like maybe three or four enemies max. Um, unless the enemy just somehow all line up. Or in the case of Slimed Claws, when he just has a bunch of slimes all around. He's, you're going to pierce multiple slimes. So, the piercing ability is going to be really good for Slimed Claws, because you're piercing through the slimes. So you should be able to clear the slimes and still hit and deal damage to the slime boss. That's, hopefully, you are doing that. Um, the attack speed, the attack, auto attack bonus is nice. I'm not sure about this travel at 60% speed. I'm not sure if that's I think that is for every single time it pierces through an enemy. It's just weird that they say travel at 60% speed and pierces enemies. You'd think it's it pierces enemies and the damage multiplier and speed uh, multiplies by 60% per target pierced. It would make sense if an arrow moves slower and deals less damage for each enemy it pierces. It doesn't make sense that his shots already like travel at 60% speed to begin with. Um, that kind of doesn't make too much sense why they, they would do that. So um, the wording on this passive skill could be better to better understand this 60% speed and whether it comes from piercing enemies or whether it's just his attacks just pier travel at 60% less speed. Or I guess it would be 40% uh, less speed. Um, they could work on the wording for this skill. But overall, I think this is a skill that is going to make people think about positioning. Because you're going to want to position so that you go through the enemy's front line to hit their back line. So you're going to probably want to position Ho Yi in the middle back of your forces behind your tank. So that your tanks capture the enemy's tanks in a fight in the middle and the mages like to converge in the middle so you're likely going to pierce the tank and then hit the enemy behind their line. Um, the goal is to kill the enemy's back line because they're the ones doing the damage so this guy Hoi may be able to do that but it's going to be very dependent on positioning. Um, you may want to in raids turn off his active and in most boss fights, I would think you'd want to turn off his active too. Um, except in the Slimed Claws fight. So here's his normal passive skills. Um, I haven't done enough range mastery videos, uh, range ranger videos, to know if his skills are good or bad. Uh, what's his, is his range DPS good? Is his range armor good? Is his HP good? Um, you mainly only care about the range mastery part. They might up it or lower it depending on how good he is in the meta. We'll see. His enchants, smite is going to be a big one for him. You probably want to do that for arena. For raids, you probably might want damage four because smite is every four skills. And you're only going to get smite to go off maybe twice before the enemy, before the fight should be over in a raid. So you might want to just go with damage four in a raid. For, uh, for more damage. Normally you're going to put a giant slayer on his helm. But for the last boss fight of the each week. You're going to want to do sword breaker. Since that boss does more damage. Has more base damage than you. Uh, there are cases when you might want to use sword breaker over giant slayer. Depending on the enemy you're facing. It's, it's hard to know. Um, there's certain aspects of the game I need to learn better. And that is what accounts for a unit's base health, base armor, base damage. Like, do these normal passive skills account for that calculation? So should I be looking at, okay, he's got 78% range DPS, rangers have this much, therefore he's most likely going to have a lower amount of base damage. Uh, does his passives, his special passives like this, does that account for it? I'm not sure. I need to learn more.
uh, about how that works. And then armor, power three. That's just any damaging unit, you're going to put power three on the armor. Possible future changes. He may get a buff. I, I put down AOD, AOE damage may get nerfed. But I feel like that skill is going... Like, the speed of that skill, the animation, may get changed so it's faster. It just seems so slow. And then its charge count might get reduced to, like, 8. I could see that happening. Um, his attack speed may get nerfed. Uh, his damage may get buffed. It, it all depends. It's really hard to guess these future changes. I originally wrote this thinking when I first read the skills, oh, man, these could be the overpowered aspects. But really, after putting them into practice... I could see his piercing ability being the only thing that's overpowered about him. Otherwise, I think he's more the most uh, underwhelming unit to have come out in the game so far, where I don't think he's going to make a huge impact on the meta. So, the important thing you've all been waiting for, banner statistics. So, nothing changed too much between this banner and the last banner. Breaker of the Sky still has five warriors, three mages, four rangers. Therefore... You know, compared to the traditional banner, uh, you have a large percent chance of getting rangers off this banner. So if you need to get them, rangers to get them to SS, pull from this banner. SSS, sorry. Um, now for the heroic summon banner, these are your statistics. Uh, I want to emphasize that these are for summoning S heroes. So warriors, you're going to get, you have about the same amount of chance for each banner. Mages, you have a higher chance on the heroic summoning banner and less of a chance of rangers. So mages, summon on heroic summoning banner. Rangers, summon for break of sky. Warriors, doesn't matter. That's whale time. So for this update, there's this limited time offer. Whenever I see a whale, I tell them, hey, you should buy this limited time offer. It gives you a hundred pulls from a summoning banner that's 9100 diamonds gives you 250 super plus chests that is a good amount to get you ahead of everyone else when you're first starting and then 125 of the rune super rune chests it's a really good deal in my opinion compared to the rest of the deals where if you're a new player and you want to drop a bunch of money to get ahead in this game this is this is the limited time offer. This is the thing to buy. Um, there are other limited time offers. I would check those out. If you don't have a hundred dollars to drop, you know, don't don't feel pressured to drop a hundred dollars just to get ahead. Uh, you can buy the monthly passes, and that will give you a good amount ahead compared to free to play players. Um, you can buy, you know, some of the lighter limited time offers can also be very helpful. So don't feel pressured to have to drop $100. That's, that's a lot of money to drop on a video game. So for a quick summary, I suggest testing out Ho Yi out for boss fights in Arena. Really test out that positioning for Ho Yi and possibly seeing the difference between turning his active on and off. Um, he may or may not be good for raids. I'm, I'm, not, I'm very on the fence whether he's better than the other rangers for raids. And then I highly suggest pulling from the new banners for rangers, and if you need more mages, pull from the regular banner. Beyond that, please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video.